Welcome back to Arx Fatalis. I was racking my brain trying to think of somebody who has only one eye to look for that spirit's killer. And I wasn't having much luck. I was just running around the city of Arx breaking into random people's homes. Because eh, it, it helps me think to commit crimes. And then it finally hit me. And it took so long because it's been so damn long since I've been back here that I kind of forgot most of the people here, but... I believe one of the first dudes I talked to at the tavern had only one eye, right? I'm pretty sure. Let's go check. Oh! oh. What the fuck are you doing here? Be careful, dog. The outpost has been attacked by the Ilsu. <sighs> Stay out of the tavern. You're not welcome. Hmm. Ratman. Whoa. Not really much of a place what the hell happened to you, dude? La -da -dee, la -da -da. La you okay there? What's wrong with your eye? You're not the one-eyed man, are you? Do you have, like, a glass eye or something? Nice little spot, don't you think? Are you having a seizure? You know, I haven't seen any dwarves around here in a long time. That's because they all died. To Lunshire, to our good king. How you doing? There's one more drink that Akbar not have. <laughs> Ah, oh, quit your staring. A girl could get ideas. Anyway. Alright, yeah, isn't it you? Come closer. Yes, Come you closer. were the one-eyed man, that's right. That luck is with us today. Okay. Try your luck in the game, and leave with your pockets full of gold. In oil. I need to talk to you about the murder <laughs> nice of a certain woman. What are you asking me for? I've got nothing to say to you, so get lost. Listen, one eye. I'm not going to ask you again. Leave me alone. You You don't know what you're talking about. More beer. I need some more beer. <laughs> Tizzy. Okay. Get lost. I don't want to talk to you. So get out of my face. Right. I believe it said I'm supposed to report them to the proper authorities, right? Is that Alicia? That or I'm just supposed to flat out murder him? Well, I have about a bajillion dollars, so... Come on, nine. I need some more beer. Never Fuck. fear. Fortune is fickle. Soon she will smile on you. I'm sure you'll have better luck next time. Never fear. Fortune is fickle. Soon she will smile on you. I'm sure you'll have better luck next time. I am. I am the king's long lost daughter. Oh. Well, fear. You are fear. Dizzy. It's been a while since we saw Azrael Darkthorn. I bet he died in the crypt, dirty tomb raider that he is. I think you're spilling your drink there. Also, I just realized that's really cool. The NPCs actually reference real things that happened. Azrael Darkthorn. I bet he died in the crypts, right? The the damn hunter he said or something like that. That was the uh, the vampire hunter. Yeah, that was the vampire hunter guy. And then the guy down there mentioned the dwarves and how he hasn't seen them. That's because they all died. That's really cool. They actually, yeah, they actually reference real things that have happened. Your health. Who did 
does she think she is, that Alicia? Honestly. Okay, yeah, so either I need to murder him or I need to report him to the authorities. I thought I was just supposed to report him. Ask me to find the people responsible for her death. Leave me alone. You, you don't know what you're talking about. Try it now. Follow your life. So I guess <laughs> this dude's still having a seizure? What is up with you? I need some more beer. <sighs> So who would I report that to? Um, I think would, it would be either the king or maybe like the main guard dude. I don't know what the hell his actual job description is. But uh, let's go pay Arx a visit. Look at that chicken, going crazy. Let's try the guard, dude. Which is you. I'm a bit busy planning the castle's defense at the moment. I am sorry to bother you, Carlo. <laughs> Was it really necessary for you to yell? Alright, let's try the king. If that doesn't work, then I'm guessing I'm gonna be more dooring some people. Let me out! Fuck. Now you must find and destroy Akba. May the wisdom of the Noden guide you. D does I'm nobody sure. care? Hmm. Free us, Guardian. I am supposed to actually avenge her, right? Or am I just supposed to tell her who did it? Find the people responsible for her death. Well, I found the person. Do I just kill him? Isn't everybody else going to kill me if I try to kill him? I, bet I, can take two on my own. I mean, there's no one else I can talk to about this, right? The Ice Dragon was the only other... Well, not person, the only other entity that I've spoken to about this, and, uh... Well, I stole one of the Ice Dragon's eggs, and now it wants to kill me. So, I don't think I'm going to be conversing with the Ice Dragon about this matter. Which means I don't know. Do I just murder him? I kind of want to just look it up in a walkthrough, because if I'm not supposed to, like, if I murder him, you know, the quest doesn't update, and then I have to go all the way back there only to find out that didn't do it, then, you know, well, that sucks. Like, I found the person, I'm just not sure what to do with him. Well, I'll figure it out and I'll be right back. Well, I'm just gonna try murdering him and seeing if the quest updates. I don't think the patrons here are gonna like this. Hey, buddy. I can't cast this spell yet. Hold on a second. Three, two, one, you're dead. Yeah, they don't like it. Hmm, he's got a key. To what? I am the king's long lost daughter. Well, me here, some. They can't even get out of their chairs. They're stuck. <laughs> no, even my goblin friend wants to kill me. Get lost. Get lost. I can't cast this spell yet. Oh. 
You got some health, man. Not that much health. Well, given that my quest was to bring justice to this woman who had been murdered, this doesn't feel like an appropriate outcome. Alright, I'm just going to look up what the hell I'm supposed to do with the One-Eyed Man, and I'll be right back. Okay, what in the hell? I just read the walkthrough on what you're supposed to do for at least some of the quest? Oh my god, it makes no fucking sense. It's insane! The solution is absolutely insane! Okay, so... Get out of my face! He mentioned something after I talked to him about, you know, get me a beer or whatever. Apparently that wasn't just idle chatter, it's actually something you're supposed to do to solve the quest. And you might ask, how do you do that? How do you get him a beer? You might think you would just buy it from her chest or whatever. Uh, that sounded kind of weird. Uh, you know, <laughs> you know how most merchants have a chest? That's how you buy stuff, is by opening their chest? Except she doesn't have one. Right, and you can't go behind here, she yells at you. And you can't just talk to her. Hmm. <laughs> He's very cute, that one. Are, are you talking about me? Anyway, uh, apparently how you actually get a beer is to... use... your money. Double-click your money. And use it on her. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> These random interactions for how to buy stuff, they make no damn sense. Everywhere else it's a chest, and with her it's use your money. I've never used my money on anything. That's never been an interaction. I have nightmares. Drink your beer first. Come closer. Come closer. I can feel there you go. that luck is with us today. Try your luck in the game and leave with your pockets full of gold. And you might ask what the hell the point of that is. Well, it makes him get up so he has to go to the bathroom. And he leaves behind his comically large key that he was sitting on like some sort of a hen. And then you take it, and um, of course you have no idea what the hell it actually goes to. Everyone can win and become rich. But because I don't want to waste a massive amount of my life, I just looked it up in the walkthrough. It goes to his house back of the city of Arks. And I know roughly where it is. And that's pretty much all I know. I don't I don't want to spoil the end of the quest. But uh, that should get me through the worst of it. That was ridiculous. A load of nonsense. It's like, I just talked to this guy about how I think he's a murderer. And he's like, get away from me. I have nothing to say to you. And then he accepts the beer that I gave him, like he's not suspicious at all. The guy who thinks he murdered somebody offers him a beer, and he just gulps it down like, no, this, there's no way this is poisoned or suspicious at all. Suspicious at all? I'll just gulp it down. And then leave my key under me. Why? Why would you leave the key to your house on your stool? What the hell? What doesn't... Is it... Ugh. Oh. There's so many things wrong with that quest. Alright, apparently his house is somewhere past the blacksmith. Yeah, somewhere back here. Let's look for doors. It's locked, okay, that's a candidate. Oh, perfect. Oh, thank God, another torch. Locked. 
And this contains... Yeah, apparently it's all the evidence that you need about who murdered... <laughs> about who, uh, who murdered her. And who he was hired by or whatever. Hmm, wine. Alright, I got a bunch of things to read. No, number two. Alright, let's go with number one. Anoil, or however you pronounce that name, Queen Florence has become a danger to the kingdom. Please follow her without being seen and let me know what you discover. Car Carlo? Carlo? Isn't that the... Yeah, that's the captain of the guard or whatever that I just tried to talk to. She did say she was someone important. Apparently she was Queen Florence. This letter you found confirms my suspicions. The Queen is plotting to assassinate the King. Therefore, I want you to arrange for her disappearance. I'll leave the time and place up to you. Of course, you will be well rewarded for this task. Burn this message once you've read it. Carlo. Now, well, thankfully, he didn't burn it. Wow, so... So, the King had his wife and daughter taken away from him, but it... and he thinks they're dead. And his wife is actually dead, obviously. Although, she's still uh, alive in some way. However, his daughter is also still alive, so wow, his whole family is like... What he thinks happened to his family is not what actually happened. He thinks his daughter's dead, but she's alive, and... He thinks his wife's dead, but she's still an angry spirit. There's a lot of stuff going around. Going on around this guy. You must complete your mission tonight. Take care of the queen as quickly as possible after her child is born. I will take care of the king's safety myself. That snake woman makes me sick. Year 238, green season, second day of the week of the spider. Carlo asked me to follow the queen. Strange mission. He tried to pull the good old days trick on me of the uh, time I was a mercenary for the kingdom. But this time, I made sure I was paid for this. Time I was a mercenary for the kingdom. All right, blah, blah, blah. When following the queen, I saw her drop a letter behind the statue near the crypt. I waited until she had gone before quickly copying out what was written there. I'm sure Carlo will be delighted with my discovery. Mission complete. The Queen is dead, and everyone thinks the group of rebels that kidnapped the royal heir were the ones that did it. Wow. This food was all right. The so wine was bad. So the kidnapping of the royal heir and this were just coincidentally done at the same time. I mean, he just used that as an opportunity, I guess. Smart. Very smart. I suppose the question now is, what do I do with this evidence? Do I take it to the man himself? Do I take it to Carlo? Let's go speak with Carlo. He's nearby. I'm sick of eating food. Hey, buddy. I'm a bit busy planning the castle's defense at the moment. Carlo, you must take responsibility for your crime. My God! Where did you find that? <laughs> it's of no importance. Did you admit to it? Yes, I admit it. But all this, I did all of it for the good of the kingdom. I found out that the queen belonged to a secret order. The Order of the Sacred Dagger. And you thought that killing the queen was the best solution? Did you not think to tell the king what you had discovered? Sometimes, the truth hurts more than a lie. I think the king would have died of grief had he known that his wife wanted to have him assassinated. Here, take this letter. You will have a clearer understanding of what I mean. That voice acting. Where did it go? He disappeared. 
Operation Sacred Dagger will take place tomorrow. Be prepared. I will make sure the guards are not around when you come. And even more importantly, that the king is fast asleep. Anyway. He won't suspect a thing. Do your work well and our cause will be protected. It does seem she was going to assassinate the king. The ghost mystery has been solved. Carlo is at the origin of the murder of Queen Florence. Okay. <laughs> that still leaves the question, though, of now what? I mean, I was doing this to appease Queen Florence, her ghost. So... Do I just take this back door and say, hey, Carlo did it, go haunt him in the afterlife? Or something? What if I give this information to the king? I wonder what Carlo would say if I asked him about a little pay raise. Yeah, I'm curious what would happen if I tried to take this information to the king. King. Your wife was going to murder you, so Carlo took her out instead. Now you must find and destroy Akpa. This is the letter that Carlo had found, which had caused him to take such action. Thank you. I will read it later. Right now, I am still having trouble accepting so many years of lies. I wonder if that's something I had to do, or just an optional thing. I understand what Carlo did. He thought he was doing what was best for the kingdom. However, I shall never be able to forgive him. I understand what Carlo did. I'll he do that later. He was doing what was best for the kingdom. However, I shall never be able to forgive him. Am I just like feeding him paper? I understand what Carlo <laughs> what did. What the hell? He thought he was doing what was best for the kingdom. However, I shall never be able to forgive him. I understand okay. what Carlo did. He thought he was doing what was best for the kingdom. However, I shall never be <sighs> able to forgive him. I feel tired. Um This job is boring. I should make some offer. This is very strange. What I kept feeding him paper and he took it, but he kept saying the same thing. Do I need the paper to bring back to the ghost? Do I even need to go back to the ghost? Uh okay, I'm gonna go back to the ghost and um let's go see what happens. So I'll be right back. <sighs> Okay, I think this is the place where I docked to her. I think. I'm pretty sure this is it. Hello. <clears throat> Did I come down here for nothing? Alright, hold on, let me look this up. Okay, yeah, apparently that quest is completely done. The ghost is at rest, and you don't need to talk to her or anything, and she's not the one who provides you with the remaining orb that I need to finish this Poxillus' tomb thing. Apparently the last orb is just behind one of the coffins, I just missed it. Apparently it's in the giant killer, or the, the giant's room, one of these said giant something. Gotta be this one, right? Yeah, the giant killer. Apparently it's just behind something. Oh. Really? It's just right there.
I know it was supposed to be in there because it was in all of the other tombs. But I thought somebody, like, took it or something. Not that it was just off to the side by half a foot. Wait, did I just go in reverse? I just went backwards, didn't I? I was like, why am I going up? I still have no damn idea what the hell these switches are about. Okay, Box Ellis. Might have to fight him or something. Bingo! Poxelis's helmet. Ten armor, casting minus three. Minus five to stealth, don't care about that. Dispel illusions. Hmm. Dispel illusions. So I assume that's like constantly using the reveal spell. That's intriguing. It's got slightly better the armor than what I have. It's got some negatives, but they're pretty minor negatives. And the chance of, you know, potentially seeing something very cool that you would have missed because it's dispelling all illusions constantly is pretty cool. Yeah. Oh my god, it looks badass too, although kind of strange. It seems too big. <laughs> it looks like my head is oversized. Also, did it change my field of view? Uh, it does. What the hell? Or, I, I'm not sure if it's changing my field of view or changing just... Maybe it's moving my camera forwards? I don't know. That's weird. Anyway, I'm gonna leave that thing on. Might allow me to find some very cool stuff. What the hell is that? Am I seeing that because of the helmet? No. Oh. Leave. You will regret your actions. Now, faithful servants, attack. Oh. I'm slewed. I know fire's not very effective. Let's try trap. Alright, at least my sword is amazing. Getting constantly slowed. Oh no. You know, let's try harm. Die, you bastard!
Jesus, that was loud. Well, that was just, yeah, that was just one of them. There should be three more. This one's bugging out. All right, what do I want to fight it with? Could try chaos. That was kind of fun. Harm is probably the best thing to use. Let's try chaos. That didn't last very long. Okay, two more to go. <laughs> Are these arrows or something? Like, what? Are they trying to tell me something? The other two have not shown their faces. What are these? Well, shit. Do I need to walk on this particular path? And it'll open? Or something? It's very strange. Okay, let's follow these, I guess. Oh, yeah, I... Well, maybe it's just related to the buttons. I, I don't know. Is there more awaiting me? <gasps> I wonder if Poxellus is going to have anything to say. Was that always on fire? Poxy. Nah, he's quiet. Ah, oh, thank God. The quick exit finally opened up. Okay, that was quite the adventure there. Well, I think I'm actually finally done with all of the lingering things left to do. The whole were chicken. 
The One-Eyed Man, Ghost Story, Poxillus' Tomb. It's all done. Yeah, only thing left to do... ...is... As it says, the time has come for me to fulfill my mission. I will go to the Ilsid Bunker now and destroy Iserbius. Or, should I say, Akba. It's time to go kill Akba. But I'll save that for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.